Good evening, yay, and welcome once again to my part of your day and on tonight's show. It's, I've got a really great show. I've got Simon Parks on the line. Hello, Simon. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, hi, Simon. It's, it's great. Thank you, thank you uh, for doing this. It's great to talk to you because I really, really enjoyed our last uh, conversation. It was so good and it's had nearly 700 hits on, on me, Shabrika. So I really wanted to get you back on. Um, because it just seemed like we just got to a good bit w when the hour was up, you know. So um, uh, I wanted to get you back on to speak more about the um, the good bit, but we'll get to that later. Right. Um, first of all, I want to ask you. Um, let me see. Um, have you had any more visits? Uh, I have. Um, they've been uh, not as long, uh, fairly short visits. Um, quite a lot to do with the uh, difficult situations that are occurring, particularly in um, Ukraine, um, and some uh, other interesting developments which are just around the corner. So, yes, it's, it hasn't sort of dropped off since we last spoke, mm -hmm. but the intensity is, is a little bit less, which isn't, which isn't a bad thing, because then it's easier for me to manage. What, what did they have to say about the Ukraine? Um, Really, in a nutshell, basically, that the um, alien grouping that is advising Obama, President Obama, I should give him his title, mm -hmm. uh, is a very different alien grouping that is advising Putin. And in the media, in the Western world, President Putin is being labeled as the warmonger. He's being shown as the guy who's off the rails. Mm -hmm. The reality is it's the other way yeah, around. around yeah. um, Obama is the guy completely off the rails, mm -hmm. and, and uh, Putin, although it looks as if he's um, putting the military in, is actually defending himself. It all hinges around a very exotic piece of technology which the Russians had, which they put into a Russian nuclear-powered submarine, and then they just <laughs> went up and down the east coast of America <laughs> um, flaunting this piece of equipment. And within two days of that, then uh, the U Ukraine situation really kicked off. Mm -hmm. So my take on it is that um, Obama is the bad guy in this. And uh, Putin, far from being the, the, the warmonger, is actually um, staking a claim. Yeah, I like Putin. I think he's all right. I like uh, Medin Medinejad. Yeah. He's right. a sound guy, really spiritual. Have they mentioned anything about the plane, the Malaysian plane? Um, yes, but not from uh, from aliens, but from security security services. Um, it's still obviously a very hot topic, and the, the, the hope from the, the bad guys is to leave it, leave it long enough and everyone will just forget about it. Um, the 20 scientists on board who were really working for a Chinese company, but the contracts they had were for American uh, stealth technology, and I think that's probably reasonably well known in, in my sort of circle. What isn't well known is that with the demise of the 20 scientists, the patent for the work that they were uh, engaged on lapses, and you might be interested to know that the... Um, major shareholder and the guy then who who gets that is one of the Rothschilds. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah so basically what's happened is with this demise of these 20 scientists the major shareholder um, gets hold of it so I think we can begin to understand what's happened there. So do you think they're all dead? 
are as good as dead in the sense that how can they be returned? Um, because if they're returned, then the um, the patent would then have to revert back to to the company and to them, and the the whole thing would have been for nothing. What so is this? What is this? What is it that they've actually made? Um, it's an advanced form of stealth technology. The, the Chinese and the Russians um, are at a point now where they can detect any of the American stealth aircraft. And the Americans wanted to stay one jump ahead. And the only guys who were up for it were the, the Chinese scientists. They were the ones who really had made a, a quite a staggering breakthrough. One of the Rothschilds who'd been funding the project in the first place anyway made himself a major shareholder. What happened was that the Chinese scientists wanted to uh, give the information to China. That's not surprising, really, because it's their home country. Mm. America didn't want the Chinese to have the full information, and so steps were taken, and now the Americans uh, will maintain a third generation of stealth aircraft without Russia or China being able to detect them. So that's really all over? The whole plane, yep. it's 200 and odd people. Well, but that's exactly it, isn't it? It's the, all the innocent, ordinary people who had nothing to do with this. Um, you know, and all those poor loved ones at home wondering yeah. what's going on. Shocking. It is shocking, but, but it's, it's with what goes on every day of the week, um, and sometimes it makes it into the media, but most times it doesn't. doesn't In no. this case, it made it into the media because it's such a big thing. D d well, is it that... Um, makes them thinking now about them and the poor girls and 200 girls that, that have been nicked. I mean, well, often often things will happen and they'll be blamed on terrorist organisations. Yeah, because uh, somebody on my Facebook was saying, well, actually, if you, if something happened in Rwanda uh, years ago. They, they did the same thing there. They caused uh, a lot of nonsense. And then and then uh, the West goes in, you know? Yeah, what, what your, your listeners may not know is that uh, for the first time ever, um, Nigeria um, economically outstripped South uh, Africa. So now Nigeria is the uh, biggest economic powerhouse in the whole of Africa. Wow! So I that's never knew. now why the West, or America we should say, is particularly interested. So we've got this vision of Nigeria being quite bad. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's, it's quite a big player now. Is it, have they found oil? They've got oil, they've got diamonds. Um, the, problem, the problem with the oil was it was incredibly difficult to extract. Um, and they needed American uh, and European technology to get the oil out. Uh, and of course, uh, that went with a deal, which was, well, we'll get the oil out, but we want X, Y, and Z. And the Nigerians <coughs> didn't really want to play that game, mm. um, quite understandably. Yeah. So there have been lots of deals backwards and forwards, but Nigeria is just sitting on a huge reserve of uh, natural wealth. Wow. And then it's, it's oh, well, it's, it's really sad and horrible and all the rest of it. Well, I, we can't just keep talking about the, the 200 girls, can we? Uh, have you heard about the... I keep reading that these um, CMEs are coming off the sun. And um, we're all... all there's, there's a lot of... It's raising the consciousness of, of the planet. Right. What, I, what, you know, what okay. do you think? Um, the answer to that is yes. The, the, the star, as I call it, the sun. Yeah. Um, it does more than just heat the planet. Um, from a 3D perspective, we just assume that, you know, it's, it's a nice warm thing and it, <laughs> it makes the plants grow and we go out to the beach. Yeah. The reality is that it uh, produces um, a mixture of electromagnetic energy and, and other forms of energy which bathe the planet and indeed the whole of the, the, the star system here and has an effect on um, it's very difficult because some of the new age worlds such as you know evolution or ascension um, I don't like to label I don't like to get stuck stuck with words but basically um, it has an effect on the way people um, think that's probably the best way to put it yeah. just as the moon has an effect on some people when it's a full moon it certainly has an effect on animals and that can't be doubted because mm. that actually is bookmarked in, and, and you know 3D science accepts that but the sun's energy is having a very interesting effect um, and that's one of the reasons just one of the reasons why chemtrails are being spread
spread to try to reduce that type of um, electromagnetic energy. You see how I talk to you and everything makes sense. The, chem the chemtrails make sense now. Well, it's one of the things. They, they, mm. they, they, they're killing two birds with one stone. It's not, there yeah. are other things in those chemtrails, but, but one of the, the, the ideas you see, well, that's why they went on for global warming, which is just nonsense from their, you know, their perspective that yeah. they played it as. But they did want to reduce the type of radiation um, that was affecting, as they saw it, humanity and making humanity start to question and to develop. And what the you know, governments don't want is their populations asking questions. Well, it, it, their plans aren't working. When you've got people like Bez standing up saying, yeah, mate, I'll have a bit of that. I'll be the Prime Minister for a bit. Well, we'll talk about Bez later. Okay. So tell me about um, implants. Didn't you have an implant? Yeah, um, but I had one that was, uh, you know, agreed to. Most most implants, people don't agree to. Where was it? Uh, left hand. Oh. My left hand. And it's, it doesn't hurt or anything? Pardon? D does it hurt? No, well, the, the buggers took it out. Ah. The, the, the human government took it out. I have a scar on my hand. Um, and then I um, agreed to have another one. But this time they said, well, we won't tell you where we're going to put it. Because if you don't know where we're going to put it, then the government won't know where we put it. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that seems to have worked. Right. So you have got one in you somewhere, you just don't know where it is? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm quite happy with it because it's one that monitors my health. Uh, it's, most implants actually are designed to um, uh, give you pain or um, headaches um, or depression. And they're very negative, but, but there are other implants which just monitor your, your biorhythms and if you're unwell, then they alert whoever and then they can come and uh, look after you. And as it's that type of implant, I'm quite happy with it. Wow, I want one. <laughs> well, I always say to people, you know, who, who have um, abductions, the last thing you want is one of these little greys standing over you, operating on you. <clears throat> what you really want is um, a mantis, or as the Americans say, a mantis, and uh, the finest doctors in the world, uh, or the universe. Mm. And uh, I would never, ever let a little grey come near me at all. But most, most operations on abductees are carried out by the little greys because they're, you know, there's just so many of them and uh, it's much easier to let a grey do something than to get one of the others. So implants can either be human put in. Um, often what will happen, you know, is when the American government um, finds somebody who's having genuine uh, abductions or contact with an alien race, they will want to implant that person pretty quick so that they can try and um, obtain information. Um, the Americans used to have a term for these people, they call them fast walkers or sometimes <sighs> fast runners. Um, the implant sends out a very high frequency um, tracking device, I suppose, and it shows up on radar and when someone is taken to a ship uh, and on the radar screen, they appear and they just fly up the radar screen very, very quickly. And so the, the radar operators coined the term fast walkers or fast runners. Mm. So they will implant, implement, implement these people with implants. Um, and then there are alien implants, which are totally different. Uh, we're still talking the physical realm. These are little tiny bits of metal that you can look at. Yeah, he's he just died, that fellow, hasn't he? It? It was... Yeah, there's another form of implant which you can't see, which is called an energetic or an etheric implant, and that's a whole new ball game. Oh. It, it, these, um, it seems that all of a sudden, we've got Ed Snowden, Julian Assange, and a woman called Karen Hud Hudes, all saying that um, tall whites uh, run America. Right. Um, they certainly are in America. They are certainly... Um, in a number of underground bases, they certainly have access to the military, um, but they're not running America. What they're doing is they're advising. Um, they have a shared technology with the, the humans, the American government. Um, I'm just trying to choose my words very carefully. Mm -hmm. They don't dictate policy. It's more of a... Um, you know when you